Our cats came home late one night, their tails huge, their fur so puffy that they barely fit through the cat door. I figured another cat had scared them, or maybe an owl, so I turned on the outside light and stood in the backyard, watching. I couldn't see a thing, but I heard a strange voice from the darkness just beyond the reach of the light. It was calling my cats by their names. I froze, listening. At first, I was confused by the ridiculousness of the situation. I remember thinking how glad I was that most cats don't come when they're called. But then I got angry. Who the hell would be calling my cats in the middle of the night. I searched the yard, but found nothing unusual. I went inside to check on my son, seized by the irrational hope that it was just him pulling a prank. Of course, it wasn't. He was snuggled in his Star Wars sheets, asleep. My wife couldn't hear it, and she said I was crazy but the cats didn't think so. They hid in those undiscoverable places that only cats can find, and they didn't come out. After my wife went to bed, I sat by the back window with a flashlight. Every so often, I'd hear it again. Sometimes, it sounded like the wind. Other times, it was like a voice being forced from a throat lined with broken glass, shredded into a legion of voices, all speaking as one. I called the police. I kept watch by the back window until the doorbell rang. When I ran to the front door, there was nobody there. I searched the front yard and the whole time that voice was calling and calling from the back of our house. But something had changed. It wasn't the cats it was calling anymore. Through the house, I heard the back door open and slam shut. The calling stopped. That's when it occurred to me. Cats might not come when they're called, but little boys usually do.